More thefts being reported in local communities. Yeah. The most recent incident in Simsbury where thieves actually got away with an ATM. Then a business in East Granby says they've had tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment stolen and they really wish something could be done about this. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts joining us live from that business tonight with more. Amanda. Yeah, hey, Mike, Mike and Amber, the folks here at r, r Power Equipment says they've had all sorts of items stolen over the years. Most recently, lawnmowers worth thousands of dollars, and you're about to see these thieves are not shy about it. They pulled right up here in a big box truck. Surveillance video catching thieves in the middle of the night stealing expensive lawnmowers out of r, &R Power Equipment in East Granby. They cut the locked area in the back, um, drove it looks like a 24-foot box truck right around the back of the building, um, and we're loading up mowers back there. This theft was in October. The thieves stole a couple of mowers worth about $5,000 and then drove away. And it's not the first time. Manager Scott Lennon says back in 2020, thieves stole roughly $14,000 worth of equipment right out the front door. The last time was mowers. Um, we had our cat converter stolen off our truck, I think, last year. Um, three years ago, they broke in through the front door and stole chainsaws and blowers right off the shelf. So a little bit of everything. Lennon says he sees thieves getting more brazen and hitting more and more spots in this area. The most recent report of a theft was last weekend in neighboring Simsbury, when police say thieves stole an ATM from this convenience store and also broke into a dealership next door. I think they're looking for some quick way to get some money and they think uh, that they can pull it off. Lennon agrees, saying his shop is targeted likely because of how easy it is to resell these items, but the losses add up and they never see that money paid back. Need more punishment. We need them to be held accountable. And that's the thing. I think a lot of them get slapped on the wrist and let go and, and there's no, no penalty. Now, police recommend that business owners install good alarm systems and surveillance cameras because it helps them solve these crimes. Live in East Granby tonight, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News.